Hi everyone! Today we're going to go over the new chat mod. So after you've installed it, um, you'll see a title here and it says chat mod. We'll go to chat box settings. This is where you can um, change your settings for your chat box. The first one is obviously you want to check that you want to show your chat box. The next one is the chat box width, which I would recommend leaving at the 235 default because you don't want to mess up your surfing page. The next one is the title bar image. Uh, this image is shown at the top left um, of the chat box, and I'll show you where that is. It's right here. Um, so you can click here to change it. Um, you'd want to upload another image and the recommended height is 20 pixels so you're going to choose a file from your hard drive um, and then click update and it will change the image. All the rest of these are the colors for the title bar, the tab text, the tab background, tab hover, the active tab background color and you can change those to whatever you'd like and then click update settings. The next one is chat rooms. Um, obviously the default is the LFMT chat. You can enable or, or unclick if you want to disable that chat. Obviously uh, the LFMT chat is, host, is moderated by the LFMT guys, so you're not going to have any settings here. You do have the option, however, to show it to all members free or upgraded, and then you just click edit if you're going to change that. Um, you can also change the name if you like. Um, the next thing is you can add a new room. When you click on that, you have three different options. You can create a new chat room. You can add a room hosted at another LFMT exchange. Or you can add an external chat system or page. Now the first one, if you're wanting to create a new chat room, um, you can do so. so for example, if you have a couple of different exchanges, you can make a chat room for your two exchanges. So you can do that. You can click continue and you can call it whatever you're going to call it and make it visible to all free or upgraded members and then click add a room. Um, this one, I want to add a room hosted at another LFMT exchange is really cool and I don't think it's utilized enough. Um, when you're doing a promo with another exchange, for example, say eTraffic Freedom was doing a promo with Hits Viral, um, you could set up a room and then share that room with the other exchange. So if ETF set up, if I set up a room at ETF, I could share that room with Hits Viral for the day for our promo and then our members could talk back and forth to each other. They could um, share their winnings, they could network, they could, this would be the place because it's a private chat between those two rooms where they could share their stickers or you know say I won this sticker and or I won this badge. You know, a great time for those two exchanges to be um, conversing back and forth, those members, for that promo. So this is a really great feature. The third one is you can add an external chat system or page. The only one I can think of right now is Crave, but maybe you have another custom chat that you want to add. You can do that. Um, this chat is very versatile. So you can you can label it. So if you're using Crave, you can label it Crave Chat. You know, put in the URL for the Crave Chat, make it visible to whatever three choices, whatever one of the three choices you want, and click Add a Room. Um, so really nice feature. Okay, so I created a test site room, and um, I made it available to all members. If I wanted to change it to just upgraded members, I could do that and click edit. I could change the name of it and say, whoops, uh, this site, you know, whatever the name of your site is. Okay, now you click on customize and here is where you can um, do your customizations. Again, you got the choice of colors. Um, a really neat feature is that 
you can show a rules page. So you, you create your own HTML rules page and it's going to show on, on your chat for your members to click on. Um, so this one's called chat rules and all you have to do, it already knows your domain, so just put the forward slash chatrules.html. So say I set this up on quality hits for you. Um, by putting the forward slash, it already knows it's quality hits for you dot net forward slash chatrules.html. Very simple. Um, shows you the refresh delay for how often your chat refreshes for your members when they're surfing. These are basically for the login portion of when your members are either going to log in or sign out or create an account. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, moderators, I am going to go into this in a different um, different video. So when you're done with this video, go to the second video for the chat mod and I'll explain all of this. Share a room. This is where you can share your room, as I mentioned. So you can either share it when you're doing promos or you'll need to share it if you want to make one for, you know, multiple sites. So, uh, for example, um, I own Quality Hits For You and eTraffic Freedom. So I make up the a room at eTraffic Freedom and then I'm going to share, excuse me, I'm going to share this with Quality Hits For You. I'm going to share the URL and the room key. So when um, I go over to Quality Hits For You, I'm going to click here and say I want to add a room hosted at another LFMT exchange. And this is where I'm going to put in that URL and that room key. And then you know, I'm going to name it qh for You ETF Chat. And then click Add a Room. And so then Quality Hits For You and E-Traffic e Freedom are sharing a room. So <clears throat> stay tuned for the next video on the moderation moderator portion. Have a great day.